everybody, Kyle Wasman here. I'm Brandon Jones. And this is the first 15. This is a show where we go into the Game Trailers library, find a game we've never played before, give it 15 minutes, and then unfairly judge it upon those 15 minutes. I've never I've never been on this show before, Kyle. It's very exciting. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. I've been in the games library before, definitely. Oh, Brandon. It's locked. I'll go get a big wrench. Really? Wait. <clears throat> it's uh it's Brandon. Yeah. It's Brandon, this is your first time ever on First 15. When was the last time you've explored the library of game trailers? Well, I usually explore it like in a mad hunt to actually try to find something, so. It's I don't, never I, I don't, been... I've, I've never actually just kind of perused. I don't have that kind of time, Kyle, to just I come mean, in here and just you know, smell the games and. And I think it's worth mentioning, like this is it. This is our last time in this library here. Yeah. It's, it's moving week yep. here at Game Trailers. We're well, moving. next week is moving week, but yeah. yeah. So next week will be the big setup. So wherever these games are going, their, their fate will be determined next week. Yeah. Whatever that room looks like. Think of this poor room. This poor room next week will <laughs> pity be the room? empty. Yeah. Oh, just, that's true. Yeah, it'll yeah. be definitely, it'll definitely be a different vibe in here. Yeah. I feel the ghosts of horrible games definitely haunt this space. And, and some great games. Yeah. Ghosts it, of great games. If anyone ever like sets up a cot in here and takes a nap, they'll have nightmares about really bad games. There's a game called Back Batman Dark Tomorrow. Yeah. Is this good? Uh, no, it's not. I remember I couldn't even figure out how to grapple. And uh, I kept dying a lot. I was trying to get from like one building to another, and uh, apparently that was too much for me. I didn't play anymore. I remember the controls being really awful. And but yeah, I played it and reviewed that. Batman Begins for yeah. the original Xbox. Yeah. So these are both. What is this one bad too? Batman Begins was an absolutely terrible. It just was really linear and predictable and repetitive. It didn't but, make uh, our top ten Batman games. No, it did not. It looked good. Might have made number eleven, maybe number twelve. Okay, so you've played both of those. We can't play either of those games. Uh, what kind of game do you want to play today? Um, definitely something action. I don't want to get into any like puzzles we can't solve, so we're just hung on a puzzle for 15 minutes. Okay. Maybe like a stupid shooter. Played Brink. It's a good stupid Wonder, shooter. Uh, but yeah, I think that had some set piece moments. I remember that getting like a little bit of buzz before it came out, but it didn't uh, it didn't work out well. Brandon, what I'm struggling with right now is you're too familiar with all these games. That's something you're always going to struggle with. <laughs> Well, I've read reviews for like every single right. game That's, in here. So you're the least... only person who's experienced I... every single <laughs> review we've ever had. How about Commando Strike Force? I don't have any knowledge or memory of that. I've never heard of this game before in my life. That's I think what Commandos I... is a series. Oh, okay. But I could be wrong. Strike Force. Strike, Strike Force. First. <laughs> we'll keep this in the contention too. All right. And then let's look for one back here. We're looking for a, a dumb action game. Not a team's game. Are you dead serious? Oh, okay. Because that's what everyone says about the movie. They're like, Night at Museum's like, hey, you know, it's actually like a pretty good movie. So I wouldn't be surprised if the game is the same way. It like kind of has a twist ending, which is why I guess people like it. Uh, this game actually looks cool. Didn't, I even, wanna, didn't even know this got a video game. I want to nominate it. I think it looks really cool. And, oh my god, no, you just you just hit it right there. Uh -oh. You just hit it right there. Little context, everybody. Robin Williams is in this game. Yeah. Should we do it? Should we? Shouldn't we do it then? Yeah, Rob Williams is on the box art. Rob Williams is right there. Yeah, well, we, we got to. Ted, Teddy Roosevelt's in it. But, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if that's really the likeness, but uh, <laughs> promise yourself. Okay, let's do it. Let's play. It. We're let's gonna play Night at the Museum. <laughs> Count us down. Okay. Three, two, one. Play game. Factoid. Chris White again. Hint. So Battle time. of the Smithsonian. What? Was Night at the, the Museum. Is that so? Okay, that's number two. Yeah. And it was called Battle of the Smithsonian? So there was some kind of battle that maybe was waiting to happen a long time, you know? Maybe um, this was an inevitable battle. Do you know anything about the second movie? Fight. Not the second one, no, nothing at all. With Larry Daly of Daily Devices, inventor of the glow in the dark flashlight. Glow in the dark flashlight. Welcome. Thank you, Sheila. My pleasure. What a terrifying <laughs> vision of Ben Stiller. Yeah, uh, it looks kind of angry. We can absolutely skip this. What was that like? We got 15 minutes. Wait, we okay. should skip it. Wait, we should skip cutscene. Cut there we go. Fancy Big font, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Whoa, this doesn't look bad. Oh, I think this is my flashlight. Okay. Oh, wait, am I? So, yeah. Oh, you got it. Nice. So, uh, he's, so he's friends with all the creepy things that are in the museum now. Oh, and so at night, it's just like, hey, let's all wake up. Let's have fun tonight. Now, are, are we at his old museum or are we at the Smithsonian yet? I think his success made him arrogant. Yeah, look at oh, this no, guy. clearly. <laughs> There's boxes over there in the corner. 
You don't see that at a fancy museum very often. And what I do like about him, though, is like he was this famous inventor. He was on the newspaper. He still has this job as a security guard. I should find a map of this place. Oh, so that maybe this is a new okay, place. Let's check information. There are usually maps there. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> you said this is your map. Okay. Oh, I don't want to start that tutorial. He's got very skinny legs. I do like that oh, slide. Some, he's got oh, some, oh he's, coins, coins. He's got some nice tie physics. You found a museum collectible. <laughs> you can't just call it a collectible. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a collectible behind you. Oh, what? Phew. This game ain't for kids, man. This is some serious collectible action. Who made this? Good question. Majesco. Dude, not bad, Majesco. Majesco's had a hard 10 years. We got some gum. Nice. Is that a collectible? Uh, they mentioned the keychain on the back, actually. They're That's like, a feature? Use his power. Use Larry's flashlight and keychain to navigate 14 <laughs> levels. So R2 to use the flashlight, L2 to use the keychain. Okay. Is it like a melee attack? Let's see it. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember him doing a thing. In the movies, like that's his thing? So that's a thing I do. Okay, that's L2. And then the flashlight. Let's see R2. Wait, too late. Magic time. Hey, boy. Good to see you. I can't play yet, okay? Come on now, don't make the sad eyes. You want something, boy? Get it, because he's a skeleton, so yeah. he can't make the sad eyes. He just said we can't play yet, and now we're already playing. Whoa! Here I come, Sam. Pretty zany. Make room in the toy shop. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that was lame. Lots of cutscenes here. Okay, so there's Luke Wilson. I can't remember who the Roman is. I'm going to say funny. That, that's Owen Wilson. Thank no, it's it's not. It's, um, Wait a minute, uh, who's in the guy, who's in the movie where they did the, the high school play about Sorry, Jesus? It was like Jesus the sequel or something. Yeah, yeah, British and he guy, and, right? he, and he did, he does a really good Michael Caine impression, and he did another movie where it was like him and someone else, and they were touring London. And yeah. he did the uh, very dry-witted uh, British actor. I've never laughed at anything okay. he's done, though. You know what I mean? That, that man's never made me laugh out loud. Time. Sorry to hear that, Kyle. Is it Coogan? Is his last name yeah, Coogan? Yeah, yeah, I think it might be Coogan. Okay. I can't move. i got to wait for him to come back. Really? Oh, now I can ride him. Monkey. Okay. You can now reach higher areas with ease. Nice. All right. This is a good-looking game. Break those other boxes. That the guys are sitting on? Yeah. I probably can't. Nope, you oh, see, lame. that's how it works. No, okay. Those are platforming boxes, you can't break those. <laughs> oh, I gotta get off them to pick up that coin, I guess. Oh, no, found a quarter. Okay, great. This is what you do when you work in a museum, can't go in there. I mean, there's not many games where you can do this. Right, a Have you ever ridden a skeleton T-Rex around in a video game, Kyle? No, I've actually never done this before in a game. I can't tell you that's how much magnets. it gets under my skin that we can break some boxes and not the others. Return to the center when you want to stop riding them. Okay. Oh, so oh, return and put him back in the spot. Okay. All right, Rexy. You're done. Good night, Rexy. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah. So oh, what? Yeah, so I got gum, and I can give this guy gum. What? The gag. Yeah, this guy's gag was dumb, dumb. Me want gum, gum. That was his. That was his character. That was the joke. These guys saw these Eastern Island statues, and that someone in the room was like, "What if he likes gum?" That's not enough, Barry. Yes, what if he I'm likes gum and he calls people dumb? dumb? What if he calls them dumb dumb and he wants gum gum? I'm not sure what... And then uh, what just... Do we give him gum or what? I don't think we have enough gum. When I, I saw when he picked up gum, it was like one of three. Ugh. Gum, so I think we... Yeah, see, so yeah, I think... Yeah. Oh, I don't like that Whereas, one like, some eight-year-old somewhere is just losing it. It's literally <laughs> like, it's like just over and over and over and over. No, I don't know. I think eight-year-olds deserve more credit than that. They understand comedy. It is funny when you keep doing it. You know, I don't remember. If, might have been Hank Azaria, but I just could no. be tripping. I no, I think you're right. Was. I think you're right on that one. My evil brother, Kamen Ra, is I kind of like not looking it up and actually like trying to look back, dig into that night at the Smithsonian part of my brain don't you? that I thought I'd all but erased. They put effort into the facial animation. Defaulted to the subtitles. Which I guess is yeah, I don't mind that. Which kind of helps us, considering we're not listening to a single thing they're saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, we got like powers. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see, wield the key. Allows one to empower yeah. motorized We're getting so many powers right now. Allows one to restore broken objects. Great. Power, exactly. Of course. Classic repair items: hammer and chisel. The translation does have a few scarabs. That was a good joke. Actually, okay, that's kind of vague. That was a fine joke. Wow. The shield. 
all sorts of stuff we can do now. I don't even know where to begin here, Kyle. Yeah. We have objects let you swing across obstacles and help you climb. Okay. You remember my keychain. It also helps you spot some objects. <laughs> throw your keychain to the now, display case and ascend to the top. Case. Yeah, up there. There we go. Whoa. It's like Spider-Man. With Spider -Man. his keychain. Yeah, very, it's not bad. Yes. Wow. Sick. Oh, we got all the gum gum. Quick, quick. You know what? Leave him behind. Let's go take care of the gum gum right now. Fifty token points. <laughs> token points, not just points. I know. Not tokens or points, but token points. <laughs> token points. It's like that game where you could like fix stuff and go back in time. Was yeah. the game that came out like a couple years ago where you're like modding the environment and like, <laughs> I'll change this door to what it used to be two days ago and then here's you can the cross. Here's the thing though, is like they're making us learn all these things at once. Yeah, I know, and it's, it's a not, lot. It's like Metroid, like here's all your abilities in the beginning it's of the game. It's a good first 15 game. You get it all okay, out of the way in the first 15. I'm getting sick of these tutorials. <laughs> it's time to adventure. So right trigger and then tap LB till something happens. That's basically all these tutorials need yeah. to say. Yeah. Well, let's try, dive Are not so it. obvious. Let's dive, let's dive. Try Super Mario 64ing into this painting. Yeah, Whee! absolutely. Oh, we're back in another Egyptian place. With another tutorial yeah. for another item. Okay. That's not an animal. We gotta go soothe that thing. Whoa. We discovered gallery points. That means uh -oh. 15 minutes is up. Uh oh. That's it, dude. That's all we get to play that game. It's a lot. Of, there was a lot of talking. There were a lot of windows in this game. Brandon, I gotta be honest. That's really frustrating. You know, you can't you can't even walk anywhere. You gotta <laughs> control her down. That's 15 minutes. Just end on Ben here. There we go. Look at that ugly mug. He's happy. I wonder why he got the abilities tonight. You know, it's like why? Why? That why seems tonight? like You're that right. seems like a pretty huge thing, mm -hmm. a, a power to bestow upon Ben Stiller. Yeah. You know, then why did he have to go talk to him? I mean, granted, we did skip these cutscenes, but I don't know. It. Um, I wonder if that's in the story. I oh, wonder yeah, if he receives watch, these buddy. powers. All right. Um, let's, at least let's it had go. some idle animations. Let's go back to the library. All Let's right. put this back from whence it came. I did enjoy it, though. So, Brennan, I've been in this library a few times for first 15s. I've never pulled out Night at the Museum. You know what I mean? I never have noticed it. What made you notice this game? Might be the gold, like the gold on the blue. Definitely definitely seemed like a film title, you know? Absolutely. It's got right. like, the, like the Polar Express font. You know, it definitely seems like a family film. Um, the game I, itself had fancy fonts. There's also a lot of Japanese characters going on in this row. So. And so it just kind of stands out, just yeah. big English letters. Although I'm kind of curious what this is now. This gold book of a game? What is that? What is it? What are you? Whoa. What we just it? discovered a doorway to a magical world. What is that? Oh, it's just a book. This is <laughs> the book that came with Nino Kuni. Oh, cool. This is really cool. Yeah. I got a big issue with this game. Didn't get octopuses. Didn't get a Blinken. Didn't get a plane. No monkeys. Brennan. We got some gum gum for dum dum, and we got a T Rex. I would have been fine if they let us. I would have been fine if we didn't see any of those things if it was our fault. But we couldn't have. Right. Because they just wanted to teach us how to use every dumb little power we would get for the rest of the game. And we skipped two cinemas. Within its first 15 minutes. This is why we do first 15. It's like the first 15 has to be entertaining for a person to want to play the rest. Oh, is that why we do it? He wasn't even like impressed by his powers. He hopped through a painting and like stands up and well, it's just like ready that, to... That's just Ben Stiller. I mean, that's not, you know... There's not, even, even a video game version of Ben Stiller, there's not much you can do. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. He's a funny fellow, but... Uh, yeah, I was definitely phoning it in for this one. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks a lot. 2.5. Brandon? Oh, do I got to score it? You have to score it, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a three, just because they got the voice actor. That's more effort it's than most It's three because do. of Ben Stiller? <laughs> Brandon, I have to object to that. I was entertained by it. <laughs> I was entertained. You know what I mean? Rather than some weird actor you don't know, like, doing the voice. It was kind of fun to, like, at least I got to, like, you know, step outside the game for a little bit and imagine him in a booth. Just yeah, like, yeah, this, yeah. you know. 200 pages of stuff like oh okay wow that flashlight worked good is that good i mean he had a good work? a good zinger when it was hammer and chisel famous repair tools that was like a good zinger yeah 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 that's worth a three i guess still 2.5 in my book Get back there. and that's so gonna long. do it for this library so long library do we want to do like a dramatic pan around as dramatic as you can do of a library yeah Nowhere near every game, and certainly just CD-based games. I know, and it's only from like mostly, the yeah. Mostly Gen 6, 7, and 8. I mean, we'll take them all with us. I gotta believe, though, that Blood is gonna like secretly just toss some out. 
like whenever you move, you know what I mean? That's when you realize how much garbage you have is like whenever you're moving and you end up throwing out two boxes. And you think you can move something like this in a day. You're like, I can all move on Saturday. You know, I can just, <laughs> I'll just get my car, I'll get a couple friends and we'll, we'll just do it. We'll really do it, you know? <laughs> we'll really work on it. And it's, it's like, wait, take... how many trips? And then each trip is five minutes and then it's a hundred trips. And then it just, yeah. One trip is going to be just the Xboxes. I don't think we're taking any of those Xboxes. It was a good library. Yeah, thank it was you, a great library. thank you to the room. The stuff is ours, but we can't take the room with us. These bricks have to stay, unfortunately. And so. I mean, probably these uh, cabinets. Thank you, shelves, for holding the stuff, and thank you, walls, for keeping people from stealing it. Brick walls. And thank you for watching. <laughs>